Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tyre. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run and install Overwatch 2 on the Steam Deck on SteamOS. So this is all working on the Linux side of the operating system and it works pretty well on the Steam Deck. So today I'm going to show you how to install Lutris, how to get the Battle.net launcher working and then how to get this game working and installed on the Steam Deck. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Steam Deck tutorials. So the first thing we're going to do is to press the Steam button here and then we're going to go to press power and then go to desktop mode. So this is going to allow us a little bit more of the backend access so that we can get Lutris and Battle.net installed. So once we're in Steam desktop mode, what we're going to do is to open up the Discover Center and then we're going to download the flat pack for Lutris. So in the search bar here, we're going to type in Lutris, L-U-T-R-I-S, and then we're going to find this particular flat pack and then we're going to press the install button. So it's saying here that it's installing, just let that finish. So you'll know it's installed because it'll say remove instead of install and basically you can go to the installed section and once you tap on it you can press the launch button on the top right hand side here or you can launch it from the start menu here. So this is now checking for runtime updates says please wait. So now Lutris is opened here. I'm just going to maximize this. So within Lutris what we're going to do is press the add game button here and then do a search for Lutris website for installers. I want to type in the word overwatch. So this does refer to Overwatch 1, but it's going to work for Overwatch 2 as well. So we're going to do the standard installation here. It should install everything that we need. We're going to install it in its default location, and we're going to do all of the shortcuts as well. Press install. So here it's saying we're downloading the script. We're downloading the battle.net setup.exe, and we're downloading the Lutris scripts that are specific to Overwatch. Press continue, and then let that download. Here it's creating the Wine 64-bit prefix. Here it's installing fonts. Just let that continue until the installer setup pops up. So here we're going to select our language and then press continue. So once that's done, we're going to go ahead and install it into the default location within the prefix. So just let that install. So here it's saying installing battle.net and it's got a percentage marker here. So once that's done, the instructions from Lutris say to close the installer so that the Lutris scripts can finish. So it says here, the login window will open, but what we're going to do is to close this, let the Lutris script complete. We're going to close this blizzard error and then this script is still active. So now it's saying that Overwatch installation has completed, press close here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to refer to this Reddit thread, which I'm going to leave a link to in the description. And this contains a different wine version called Cafe 7.18. So what we're going to do is to download this. And then this compressed file is going to go to our downloads folder. In the Dolphin File Explorer, we're going to go to our downloads folder. And then we're going to right click on this Cafe 7.18. Then we're going to go to Extract and then Extract Archive here, Auto Detect Subfolder. So that's going to put this into a new subfolder. And once that file is extracted, we're going to right click on that folder and press Copy. And then what we're going to do is to go to the Home section here. And then we're going to reveal hidden folders. So you can do this by pressing Ctrl H and that will toggle the hidden files. Then what we're going to do is to double click on .var, double click on App, double click on .net Lutris Lutris. then we'll double click on data, then double click on Lutris subfolder, and then runners, and then wine. So this is the current wine runner that's default to Lutris. And what we're gonna do is to right click on the blank space and then press paste. And that's gonna paste this new cafe folder. So once that's finished, we're gonna minimize. Then we'll take our Lutris and then make sure it's closed. And then we're gonna open it up again. So restarting is going to allow us to select the new runner. And so basically we're going to find our game section here and find Overwatch and right click. Then we'll go to configure. And then we have this section called runner options. So the current default wine version is Lutris. However, we can change this to Cafe 7.18. So this is going to allow this to work properly and get through the server selection screen on Overwatch 2 at the time of recording. So here we're going to press save and then we'll double click on Overwatch. And then what we're going to do is to find Overwatch 2 in our games library and then we're going to press the install button here. And then we're going to install it into its default location and then press start install. So this is a pretty big game, it's 25 gigabytes in size, so just let that complete before we move on to the next step. So once the game's fully downloaded, what we're going to do is to quit out of this and then we're going to go into gaming mode and then run the game from there. So now all the changes are done, we're going to go and return to gaming mode and then relaunch the game. So now we're going to go to the Steam button here and then we're going to library and then within non-Steam games you're going to find Overwatch here. So you're going to open this and then one thing is important to do just make sure that in properties that we don't have any of the compatibilities forced we're going to let Lutris handle all of that. So let's press escape and then we're going to launch the game now. So now Overwatch 2 has loaded up we're going to log into our account. So this is going to go into the Battle.net launcher and we're just going to close these windows. Close this one continue 
So now that we're logged into battle.net, we're going to do is press the play button and then we're going to launch the game. So now the game is launching up and one of the things you're going to find is that the stuttering is going to be pretty extreme, even on the menus. So this is because the shader cache needs to be generated. So just don't be surprised that we're getting five frames per second on the menu. This is going to all clear up once the shader cache has been generated. So when you first load up the game, it's going to stutter quite heavily, even on the menu. However, after a few seconds, it's going to normalize. So it's quite a good idea for the shaders to compile. So it's, you should always do the training and maybe some arcade mode just to make sure that your game is working correctly. So here are my controls are working correctly. And you know you can see that's stuttering a bit. I'll play with keyboard and mouse. So the stuttering is there, but after you've done some of the actions consistently, then it's gonna disappear. So try to run through all of the animations, maybe play a practice match and it's gonna feel a little bit better. So as you can see, the frame rate is pretty good. These are the settings that I have it turned on. Dynamic scaling is turned on, render scaling is automatic, V-Sync is off, and the graphical quality is set to medium. So it seems to be working not too bad. So I'm playing the game for the first time and just want to show that there is stuttering, but after a while, this should decrease, especially as certain animations are played out. And so they should be cached. So I'm not particularly good at Overwatch, especially on a small screen, but thankfully I'm playing on keyboard and mouse. So I did die there, but it is all working. We're getting a decent frame rate. When it's not stuttering, we're hovering about 50 to 60 FPS on medium. And it's not working too badly. So I'm just going to show a little bit more gameplay. I haven't played this game for a really long time. And obviously Overwatch 2 has changed a lot since Overwatch 1 was first released. So anyway, this is how you get Overwatch 2 working on the Steam Deck on Steam OS. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.